No, you found me. Ugh. Well, as you guys can probably tell, today we're going to be testing the most illegal secret bases ever. And these bases are so secret that if my friends can find all of them, I'll pay them $1,000. Starting with, woo, level one, baby. Yeah, I had, I had like fireworks installed in, into the ground and I had an entire arena made. Yeah. So the way that this is going to work is not only are we testing these secret bases, but we are the ones creating them. And guys, we, we kind of need to hurry because we only have like one hour until my friends are online. And I, I don't know why I did that. I'm not even wearing a watch, but, <laughs> but my friends are going to be online in one hour. So we need to get going, but don't worry guys. Don't worry. I got a plan. I got, got a little, little something up my sleeve. All right. Boom. This is Skidzy Industries, baby. You already know I have an entire plan laid out. We have like literally 35 freaking boxes in my inventory right now. Okay. Maybe not 35, but you guys get the point, but these are all boxes specifically specifically made for each and every level. And it goes all the way down to level 10. And this box looks insane. Yeah, if you guys couldn't tell already, each level is just gonna get crazier and crazier. Oh, and we also have this super ruby, but you guys are gonna find out about that in a second. I don't wanna get too ahead of myself. But since we're only on level one right now, as you can see, there's, there's a big one right there. We have to start with the level one water elevator box. And oh my gosh, okay, a water elevator? This already sounds insane. Boom! Okay. Okay, we have a big water circle thing. And what is this, bamboo? Um, okay, yoink. All right, so I'm gonna guess that this is the water elevator, but it also came with this bamboo. So maybe we need to use that like with the elevator thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm thinking we could place it down like over here in the corner. Boom, oh. Oh my gosh. What the heck am I looking at, guys? Wait, I'm like walking on this? Like there's no water coming. What is this? Okay, this is this is just, just a little bit illegal. There's no water coming out of the side. And I'm also just running through this. But wait, does the bamboo like go with this? Um, is this regular bamboo? Hello? What what do I oh Oh, okay. Hold on. Maybe I need to raise it up one. Okay. Wait, do I? Oh my. Oh, it just, it just went up. But wait, I think this tree is like in the way. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Oh, oh no, guys. What have we done? It's a flying water sandstone circle. Okay. Bye water elevator. All right. Well, well that one flies away into the stratosphere. I'm just going to place a new one. But wait, I think it needs to be kind of like lowered into the ground. Yes. Like this. And I think we could kind of just break these blocks and then let's get rid of this lever just for now. And then using some world edit, let's just go ahead and dig like a pit going downwards. And then we could just use some world edit like that. Okay, there we go. Now we have a giant pit. And I'm also thinking that maybe we could decorate this. We could put some sandstone like this to match like the bottom of the elevator. And then what if like down the middle of the elevator shaft wall thingies, we could have like water flowing down. Oh, oh no. Okay, I, I did not. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and place these. And hopefully this still works. Boom. Okay. There's our pool. And then let's go ahead and put the bamboo at three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. The water is like pouring into it as it's going down. And look, I could just stand here. Okay, guys, this is actually insane just for level one. But I'm thinking the reason that it's probably level one is because bamboo only spawns in jungle biomes, I believe. So once my friends see this just sticking out, it's going to be a little sus, but maybe we could surround it by a few more bamboos. Is that how you say plural bamboo bamboos or bambi? I don't Okay, but real quick, I'm thinking that we could actually decorate this just a little bit more. Ooh, okay, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we could add some stairs just for like a little bit more detail. Ooh, okay, that does look good. Let's go ahead and just copy it with World Edit. And then we could just paste them like onto each wall. Boom, okay, and there we go. That looks so good. But now we need to make our elevator actually lead to our secret base. So let's go ahead and just kind of carve out like an entrance here. And then let's go ahead and set sandstone. And then we could just make all of this wall water, but with barrier blocks on top. Yeah, just like that. So it looks like we're still walking on water even when we're inside of the base. And for whatever reason, I think it's from all the sandstone. I'm kind of envisioning like an Egyptian tomb kind of secret base vibe. Okay, wait, I'm actually going to raise the roof a little bit. Yeah, raise the roof. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why. I felt compelled to do that. All right, there we go. So now that the roof is a little bit higher, we can add some like cool little pillar things. Yeah, okay, just like that. So now I'm thinking we could put like a little staircase like right here and this 
ladies and gentlemen, is where the super ruby is gonna go. Three, two, one, boom! Okay, that is so cool looking. So when my friends come online, if they can find the secret base, it's their one and only objective to get to the secret ruby. And once they find it, all they have to do is right-click it, and this will teleport them to the next level. And honestly, since it's so, like, sacred, I think it would kind of fit if we had some, like, soul fire torch thingies around it. And there we go, guys. I just went ahead and added like a few more details around the room. So the last thing that we have to do is put our buttons like right there. So now if we click it, yeah, yo, we're literally taking a water elevator to the top. This is so illegal. Okay, okay. I'm just going to break it and we're going to put a new one. Huh, okay, there we go. But I also just realized that all this bamboo just grew. And so now the lever doesn't really stick out as much. It kind of just blends in a little more. All right, guys, here we go. It is time to teleport to level two. Oh, Oh my gosh. Okay, that was so cool. That's literally what's gonna happen to my friends once they find the ruby. And so now that we are in level two, if we check our back pocket, the next box in line is the secret portal box. And holy cow, guys, this box looks actually crazy. And it also matches the theme of the arena. It's, it's purple. So let's go ahead and place this puppy down. Boom. Um. Okay, it looks like we got a, a portal, which was actually completely expected. I don't know what else would be in the portal box but yeah this just looks like a completely normal portal should i should i just place it down boom okay um is this just gonna take me to the nether okay so this obviously isn't a real portal if it's not teleporting me anywhere do i just like try what nether portals are not supposed to what am i what is this do, do i just huh yo what is going on right now okay i really don't like how when i go on f5 it just okay whatever Ugh. okay wait so if i right click it again I can close it like a door and there's nothing behind it. I could see trees behind it. How is this even possible? <laughs> what? So wait, if we go ahead and close the door, it is a little sus that there's just like a nether portal that's already lit in the middle of a grass field. So I'm thinking that maybe we could kind of decorate this like it was a ruined portal. We could just put some like netherrack. We could also put some lava, just kind of, a oh, oh my goodness. Okay. We could also just put some lava around and then we could also add some like magma block everywhere oh and we could also add a chest and i think they normally just have like gold nuggets and like maybe some iron nuggets too and we could just put like a few bits of like obsidian and we're gonna put a golden hoe just for good measure but then if we go ahead and swing this bad boy open on the inside here yo i can't get over this this is so sick i'm thinking that we can make this like a nether themed room to make it look like you just got sent into the nether boom there we go we now have a big room to work with and let's go ahead and and make the floor out of nether brick. And I was thinking it'd be kind of a cool design to have the left side of the room be all red, but then the right side of the room could be like this bluish greenish color. Ooh, okay, yeah, just like that. And then right here, I was thinking we could have like little windows. So for the red side, we're gonna put lava. And then on the right side, we'll have water. And oh my gosh, wait, I'm actually making a mess everywhere. Boom, okay, there we go. And actually that looks sick, but I think it would look pretty good if we we just had some like iron bars over it and then this entire wall oh my gosh yeah we could just make this all the nether warp block but then this wall on this side is gonna be like the bluish green warp block thing I, I don't i don't really know what it's called but it looks so good so let's go ahead and add some fences and we'll put the blue ones on this side and then on top we'll put some crimson stairs and this side gets stairs as well and we'll just kind of layer the roof like this but then for the center of this like butt crack i decided to go with the netherite block and that looks pretty good but i could actually just make it even better like a so there we go and for the ground we can make a line like that that way it matches the top and now let's go ahead and fill in the walls oh yeah it's all coming together now we just need to make an area to put the ruby and honestly i feel like that looks pretty good oh oh my goodness careful skidzy careful skidzy <laughs> There we go. Yo, this looks insane. Hey, wait, hold on. All right, guys, my brain actually might be insanely big. What if we had it like hanging from a chain? Okay, that looks so cool. I like how we could just see like inside the base all the way from over here. It's so illegal. But then if we just go ahead and close the door, boom, there we go. There's uh nothing to see here. I went ahead and just made a, uh, a dirt path leading to this like secret cave thing with some lava. And yeah, you guys already know there's nothing there at all. But hopefully, 
hopefully that'll throw them off. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we head to level three. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we made it. Woo! Okay, that entrance is so cool. And ooh, okay, it looks like we're working with a desert biome this time. So hopefully that works well with our third box, the secret bed box. And oh my gosh, what could that possibly mean? All right, I guess we'll find out. Eh. Oh my goodness. Guys, what the heck am I looking at? We have circle. We have circle again, but a different kind of circle. And we have bed. <laughs> Yo, okay. So I need to figure out how this works. So let's go ahead and make a nice flat area. Like right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I, I accidentally just crushed like six bunnies. And so what I think that I need to do is put down this puppy. Yeah, circle thing but then we take circle thing number two eh. um okay so maybe i try like right clicking this wall now oh okay it just opened so wait i also think that we could just make like a long tunnel like this and we could even make it like just a little bit longer like that so let's go ahead and put a door on this side and then we'll put a door on the other side eh. okay we now have our bed down and wait Skizzy Industries initiating armor set. What am I hearing in there? What's going on in there? Um, okay. Well, I think when I put the bed down, it like armed this thing because I could only place the bed if it's like lined up with this. It wouldn't let me put it like anywhere else. Okay, whatever. I think we probably need to lay. Oh my. Oh, what the? Yo, what is going on? Oh, and it just... It just spit me out. Oh my gosh, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. The bed just just took me and we're covered in armor now. I was like Iron Man. Okay, wait, that was so sick. I want to do it again. It's like a ride. Yeah, let's go. Woo. Okay, all right, guys. Enough playing with the secret base. This is not a toy. I'm just kidding. It, it, it's so much fun. This is so cool. But as cool as this may be, there's just, just a little bit of a problem. There's a giant box in the middle of like an open field. So. <laughs> We're gonna have to find a way to cover this up. And I actually have like a 1432.6 IQ idea. Okay, so using some world edit, we could try to add like a mountain right here. Okay, there we go. We have box yet yet again. We have, we have a sandy box this time. But if we use world edit, we could just like plop a ton of sand on top. And then we could go ahead and just smooth it out. And there we go. Now, I think that looks pretty, uh, pretty all natural. But there is still a bed just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. So what I'm thinking is real quickly, we can make like an iron fortress base and we'll just have the bed just, you know, just be part of the base. I don't know why my, my voice got so high pitched there. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's a pretty good frame. And now using the power of editing. <laughs> We, we have uh, we have this. It, it kind of looks like the same shape as the Krusty Krab, but I'm trying to go for like a bunker fallout shelter kind of thing, which actually makes perfect sense considering we literally do have this giant secret fallout shelter door type thing. But now we just need to decorate the inside a little bit. And boom, there we go. We now have a full interior, but there's only one little problem that I noticed. The bed kind of like sits a little bit on that back block. Like it, it's illegally placed for sure. And also this wall right here, as you can see, is a little bit lighter than the wall over here. So hopefully no one notices that. But I was thinking just to troll my friends, we could put a lever back there that literally doesn't do anything. And we could have a secret room back here with a button on it. And we'll just put some signs right here. And boom, now it's covered by the painting. So they're definitely going to think that's going to mean something. So now we can go ahead and hop into the bed. And oh my goodness, guys, this does not get old. This is so cool. I'm just laying there enjoying the ride and I get pooped out and there it goes. So since we're going for like a fallout shelter kind of vibe, this will be like the very last room, kind of like an armory. So let's go ahead and put some armor stands everywhere. And I went ahead and just added a few more details. And there we go, guys. I think we are good to put down the super room ruby and wait i'm so sorry guys i know we're about to teleport but we can even just add a few more details <laughs> there we go i'm sorry i couldn't help myself but okay let's go to level four and as you guys could tell each level is just getting a little bit bigger and bigger to make it harder for my friends but now that we're on level four let's see what we got we have the secret beacon box um okay this looks super cool let's go ahead and put it down oh i can't because the bunny <clears throat> all right we get a beacon as i 
suspected. But hold on, this is no regular beacon. Set to jump boost for a secret getaway. All right. Okay, so I, I think if we set a beacon to jump boost, that probably means that we need to make the beacon at least level two like this. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. We set it to jump boost and now I have jump boost. All right, this guys, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Maybe there's like a secret passageway. Uh, what? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yo, we're flying. Woo! Oh my gosh, yo, this is crazy. The beam is literally taking me to the sky. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, we could descend if we're shifting. Oh, I just fell. Okay, wait, this is so cool. We can make like a sky base. And wait a minute. Okay, I think I have the perfect way to blend in this like entire beacon. Just let me cook, guys. Okay, let me cook. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to make is a netherite cube. All right, there we go. And now we can put iron doors. We can fill up the inside with chests. But then on the outside, we're going to have a lava moat. And now I went ahead and made all of the underground iron block. So now what we could do is we could place beacons into the ground like that. And we could kind of just make like a wall with them. And the idea is that it's supposed to kind of look like a laser wall, especially when we add this red stained glass. All right, there we go. Yo, that looks insane. So I'm sure you guys can tell by now this entire base right here. Yeah, this is just a decoy base. But the entire time and what my friends are going to know is that we're we're gonna make one of these be the secret lift to like the sky base. And I'm thinking of making it colored, but I don't know guys, that might be too obvious. I might just make it like uncolored just to make it look like, yeah, I just like forgot that one in the back. But if they're clever enough, they'll notice. And yeah, since there's no glass right here, this is the only beacon that they can access with the iron. So in the back, like right here, let's just go ahead and put a stack of iron ingots. And if they're smart enough, they'll use it on that puppy right there. But now let's go ahead and go all the way into the sky and i'm thinking we just make like a little cloud like nothing too complicated and boom there we go you come up like right here you do like a little bit of parkour on the clouds and then right here at the end of it is the ruby waiting for them and i think we're done so let's go ahead and right click this oh, oh my goodness yeah we made it to level five so now that we are on level five we can now check out the secret away box um all right here we go wait i just picked up Secret agent Alay. Hey, yo, what? What am I holding? Use slash set Alay position? Then give me a lever and I'll do the rest. Okay, let's go ahead and just spot him in. But wait, it said to use the set Alay position. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, I could put cords in. All right, th there we go. I don't, did that do anything? Where is he going? I have to give him a lever. Okay, there you go. Oh, he, he made like a little noise. Yo, wait, is he going to the position? No way. Wait. Wait, he just put a lever there. Oh, what a good boy. Here, have some redstone. So if we use the place structure command, we can literally just poop out a pillager outpost. And yeah, look, it literally pooped out like one of the LA capture things. Okay, this is perfect. So let's go ahead and put some like gates right here. All right, there we go. So if my friends are smart enough, they'll notice that they could go through here and get to the LA's. But then I'm thinking on the roof of the pillager outpost, we could use this invisible item frame maybe like in the corner right here. We could just stick a lever on the ground that is so low key. Like I don't think anyone's gonna notice that, but if they do, they're immediately gonna know that's a clue. And then maybe over here, like in the corner, we could have the LA take the lever right there and then a little secret passageway opens. And for this one, I'm thinking we'll have like a staircase leading down to like some dark little secret room, but then using some world edit, we could just go ahead and texture it. Let's go ahead and add some stairs. And then let's go ahead and just put some lanterns off to the side. We'll put one in the middle and then we could just have some like super old and poopy looking fences And we could just go ahead and texture it a little bit with some like mud slab and then right in the middle We'll use a mud brick wall with the super ruby on top. Yo I really like the way that this one came out. That looks so cool And let's go ahead and put a door and now let's go ahead and set up the redstone Which shouldn't be too hard mainly because uh, you know, I'm, I'm a genius So, you know, i'm just kidding guys. I had to watch like the super long tutorial on how to make this It was so difficult Okay, I think
think did it does it work oh it actually works okay so now it's time for you to try so let's run the command and we'll take the lever away so that closes there we go and there you go oh oh my goodness wait wait he's going for it no you missed battle a okay now let's try it there you go come on come on you can do it no how did you <laughs> how did you even place it that way that doesn't make any sense at all okay now let's try it again come on you got it i know you're thinking really hard yes it actually worked he did it wait i i think it only worked because he broke the torch all right whatever he, he still accomplished the mission that's a good boy i'm gonna name you tucker i'll be back for you later tucker okay so let's go ahead and go into spectator and we'll come down here we can now teleport to the next arena oh my gosh guys we made it level six and for level six it looks like we have a tiny potion box um okay <laughs> oh Okay, we get a potion. And what is that? Ooh, okay, so we have a tiny potion and we also have a diamond chisel. And wait, okay, I think I know exactly where this is going. We're gonna go ahead and use the place structure command, the same one that we used before, but this time we're gonna set an entire village. And wait, oh my gosh, is, is someone dying? Someone, someone's literally, I'll save you. I, oh my goodness. Uh, okay, he he died i'm i'm sorry you had to see that we're, we're just gonna go ahead and patch that up there we go we didn't see it it didn't happen and yeah like i was saying we now have an entire village in arena six which is exactly what we need because okay where is it oh i think it's this little castle right here hello housekeeping open up yeah this guy's here and he has a brewing stand which is the perfect spot to hide our tiny potion because i'm pretty sure if i drink this you guys already know I, i'm definitely gonna turn tiny and using this chisel i can make like a tiny little base somewhere so i'm thinking let's hide the potion in here oh my gosh you can see it right there and then somewhere in this castle guys we need to make a little tiny base maybe we could use a cauldron there we go we filled it up and i'm thinking what if we made our base like under the cauldron and just to blend this in we could add like maybe two more brewing stands but guys i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this here we go oh oh, <laughs> oh my god we're tiny let's go okay so we need to figure out can we fit under the cauldron Wait, yes, we can. Okay, this is sick. All right, so using this chisel, we can just go ahead and mine out of, I think this is cobblestone right here. Yeah, I got a little base. But now we could go ahead and just add a TV and we could go ahead and add a couch. Yeah. But then over here in the corner, we've got to make this lead to the super ruby. Oh. Okay, I'm out of your cauldron. What? Whatever. So our base is in this block right here. So the ruby should go right like there. And now let's just block that up. And I think if we go back down... Oh my gosh, there it is. It's huge. But wait, my entire floor is gone. Okay, it's fine. Let's just go ahead and add one in. All right, there we go. And then I just left a little opening right here. So you can literally just jump onto it. And now let's head to level seven. Wait, did I even... Oh, I did reach it. Oh, we made it. But wait, I'm still a little tiny. Yeah, I just did that out of sheer will. Yo, level seven looks insane. And hey, who are you? Get out of my arena. <laughs> All right, so for the level seven box, we have the gravity switch. Wait, this box actually looks crazy. And it also matches the yellow theme, hey, yo. All right, but what exactly is a gravity switch? <laughs> yo, what am I What am I looking at? No gravity flip floor? Okay, we need to test this out. Let's just, oh, okay. This looks pretty normal. I could stand on it, but how do I, how do I activate this? Maybe we need to, ooh, oh, uh, guys, I'm hanging upside down here. What just happened? Okay, so I can still walk on this. I'm literally just flipped upside down. And my feet are like sticking to the floor. I think I right-clicked it. Do I just right-click it again? What? We're back. Oh. Okay, just knocked over my water. But wait, guys, this is so cool. Okay, we can make like an oak wood base and just put this on the floor. And let's go ahead and see if this fits. Oh my gosh. So now I think we should be able to just, yeah, we could just flip like that. We could put another base under here. Oh, guys, okay, this is way too cool. I like this thing. Okay, so I'm thinking the top is just gonna be like a super newbie looking base, just like super ugly, but then underneath, yo, you guys already know, it's gonna be like netherite, iron blocks. It's gonna look so good. And voila, welcome to probably the newbiest looking base ever. And I think you're just so focused on how newbie this base is that you don't even realize that the floor is just, you know, a little bit of a different color. And yeah, I think this is as newbie as it gets, but boom. Oh, wait, I 
Did I miss? Let me, let me try it. Okay, there we go. Now, when we flip upside down, this is where the cool part begins. Oh my gosh. All right, this already looks insane. Well, let's go ahead and put some armor stands down. We're literally building upside down. And boom, now we have some armor. Now, let's go ahead and add some storage. And we could have some like miscellaneous items. But yeah, I think uh, I think this is pretty good. Let's just go ahead and grab the super ruby. And I think we'll just casually have it on the table, like right there. All right, let's go ahead and flip back. Okay, so now that house is done, but we have the entire arena. So I really quickly just want to make like a distraction. Wait, what if I go ahead and just place in a mansion? Oh, what have I done? Okay, that is huge. An entire mansion right there just waiting for them. But as for me, we're just going to go ahead and flip. And let's take the ruby to level eight. Uh, why do we keep having this problem of things flying into the sky today? I don't want to go to the sun. Oh. Okay, we're good. But now we're on level eight. And I can't lie, this arena looks really cool. And for level eight, it looks like we have the secret lectern box. Hey, yo. Okay, this box looks actually super cool. <gasps> All right, we got a lectern. That makes sense to me. Secret lectern. Open is the secret passcode. Ooh, okay, wait, what does that mean? All right, so let's go ahead and place it down. And I'm thinking since lecterns hold books. Hey, yo, wait, don't even tell me. If I try just putting a book in the lectern. Okay. Okay, it didn't do anything. Let me just take that back. If I type open, there's no way this is actually gonna work. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, that was crazy. So wait, can we make like a... Oh, okay, I literally just broke it. But I think we could make like a secret tunnel under it. All right, well, let's go ahead and place another village. Hello, everyone. I, I brought you to life. And I'm pretty sure that villages just come with lecterns in like one of the houses. Okay, it's not looking like any of these houses generated with a lectern in them. But we should be able to just add one and honestly this house is looking uh pretty right let's just put our lectern right there and let's use our book on it and now we can just make a secret tunnel all right so there's our ladder going down and guys i'm thinking that we just make like a room where all the villagers keep all their emeralds this is gonna be like their secret vault so let's go ahead and just give this room some pizzazz Okay, this is looking pretty good. I went ahead and added some pillars. But then, like, right here, this is gonna lead to, like, the actual vault. And I think for the vault, yeah, we should definitely just use polish and a sight. All right, there we go. And now it's emerald time, baby. And boom, there we go. We've got the secret lectern, which we actually need to close. There we go. But then that brings us down here to the entrance. And then in the secret vault, I'm thinking that the ruby could just be kind of off to the side, like up here. And honestly, since the lectern one is pretty difficult, I think I'm just gonna leave like a book and quill like right there. And it's in the same house as the lectern. And trust me, guys, that is gonna be like just enough of a clue. But now, oh my goodness, we are at level nine. And yeah, wait. This arena looks crazy. It looks like we're in another desert biome. And for level nine, it looks like we have the secret ghost box. All right, let's go ahead and test this puppy out. <gasps> um, guys, what is that? Oliver? Oh, wait, guys, this literally just says Oliver. What do I do with you? Okay, I'm actually so confused. I don't know. Wait, hold on. I think I just right-clicked him on the on the block. Oliver, what are you doing? Wait, he smiles when I do it. <laughs> guys, I love Oliver. But what is he doing? I'm, I'm so confused. What? Oh. Oh, oh, it's a ghost block. Okay, so we could go through any block now. Okay, wait, that is so cool. So what if we made it? There's like some sort of little water thing over here. Oh my gosh, it leads down to a secret cave. Okay, so I'm thinking like right here, we could just ghostify these. And wait, what? There was already a secret room back here? Okay, wait, this is perfect, guys. We can use this cave. And honestly, for this one, I'm picturing like an underground oasis. Oh no, what do we do? Oh, okay, we're good. I thought we just broke the roof. But yeah, I'm imagining that like the outside will be all like desert. But then in here, we're going to have like an underground, super lush looking cave thing. I don't, you, you'll see. All right. I went ahead and smoothed it out a little bit. But now I'm thinking that we use some world edit just to make it an entire different world in here. And wow. Okay. That looks really good. But now I'm thinking we could add some like support beams. Boom. There we go. I think these look pretty good. And I'm thinking right here, we could have just like a little ladder and this could lead to like kind of a 
little loft thing. And there's my bed. That's where I sleep at night. And I'm thinking just right next to my little nightstand. Boom, right there. We'll just put the ruby. And then over here, this could just be like a little kitchen area. And then I'm thinking over here, we'll have like a little enchanting area. But now just for some finishing touches, we could put some like glow berries. But then we could also add these like spore things. And oh my gosh, guys. Yo, this turned out so good. Mwah. But wait, hold on. Let's go through our secret entrance. And then let's swim back up here. And all the way in the corner of the map here, we're just gonna poop out a desert pyramid. That way the top doesn't just look so bland and they'll have like something to search other than this like little butt crack over here. But now if we go back to our secret base. Okay, guys, we have to put Oliver into an item frame. There you go. I'll never forget you. But now it is time to go to the final level. Oh my gosh, guys. We finally made it. Level 10, baby. We can now finally open the invisible box. Oh my gosh, guys. This thing actually looks crazy. All right, here we go. Okay, wait, what? What did we get? So it looks like we got a super sick pair of sunglasses. Wait, yeah. Yo, I look insane. Let's go. But we also have a splash potion of invisibility, but it, yeah, I don't know what this does, but it has the Skidzy Industries logo on it. So it must do something cool. I, I hope. Okay, wait. So should I try to use it on this cow right here? Okay, yeah, I literally didn't do anything. All right, maybe I need to take the sunglasses. What? <laughs> Yo, what did I do? Guys, we can make anything invisible. But if I put the sunglasses back on, I can see what I made invisible. Okay, well, now we need to fix the wall. All right, now we fix the tree. Okay, so I'm thinking since when blocks are invisible, you could still collide into them. So I think it's gonna be our best bet if we make a tree house rather than like an entire base on the ground. And also I'm gonna have to hide these sunglasses somewhere on the map. And if someone finds them, they might just put them on and they might not even notice the tree house. Like it might just be too low key. All right, so I'm thinking for this tree house, we'll have a trap door on top and then we could use barrier blocks to have like a hanging ladder. And now I'm thinking right in the middle of the trunk, we just have the ruby waiting. So the only way that they could get inside of the tree is if they parkour up to the top. Ooh, I'm thinking they could start from this tree and then make this jump. And then they come up here and oh, I missed. And then they, oh, I made it. And they come around. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is perfect. So let's go ahead and put on the Skiddy Industry sunglasses. Yeah. And now we just need to make this entire tree invisible. Oh, wait, there it goes. Maybe we just do like one more right there. And I think I have to reload the chunks. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. It, it's literally just gone. But if they're smart enough, they'll notice that they can't walk on top of this dirt block. And then the sunglasses, we could put them maybe like down here in the water. Wait, yes. We can literally just make a path. And then we'll put a sign to block the water and an invisible item frame. And then boom, they just are waiting right there. And there we go, guys. That is all 10 levels complete. And now it's time to bet $1,000 to see if my friends can find these. <laughs> Rest in peace, my bank account. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I I'm definitely gonna be the winner of this. Wait, what? We're starting? All right, gentlemen, welcome to level one. Where are you going, Quiff? Where are you going? Bro, there's nothing. Good luck, everyone. I just muted, bro. Screw these guys. I gotta win. Ayo, no, it was too easy. It was too easy. I don't know, Quiff. Maybe the there's uh, more than meets the eye. Bro, there's more than meets your eye. There is. I I'm wearing sunglasses. Hold on a second. Why are these trees here? No one's checked over here in this field. No, you're just trying to bait us. There's nothing here. But they are getting close. Close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh, I found it. Go, 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 go. Oh my. Level two. Welcome to level two, gentlemen. All you have to do is find the ruby. Yeah, yoink. I got a weapon now. Danny is actually sweating right now. I could tell because he's muted up. Guys, guys, it's over there. It's up. It's up. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him too. I put a random button there just to throw them off. And yeah, it's definitely working. <laughs> Die, yeah, you freaking nerd. Yo, stop cheating, man. Gentlemen, gentlemen, break it up. Break it up. I'll, I'll give you a clue. It's not the lava. Was that, that was just a waste of time. Okay, logically. Oh my. I went around free. Oh my gosh. Wait, did Quiff get it? Wait, we just found it. Oh my goodness, they got it. Welcome to level three, gentlemen. Bro, the guys are following me. Oh my God. I heard something. Wait. Oh my gosh. Danny fell for the, <laughs> the painting. I guess that wasn't really anything. I was thinking the lever would do something. Maybe the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm actually dying, dude. All right. We're at level four. We're level four. Oh my gosh. We can actually speed run. Okay. Something I did do was I changed this level a little bit. I put the iron inside of these chests. So now they just need to figure out that the iron goes into the beacon. Yo, what can we make? What can we make? I'm thinking of pressure plate, but I can't place anything. Yeah. Wait, no, this will make sense. I'll give you a little clue. You don't need to craft anything. This is a little bit dodgy. 
5G, right? No, no, yeah, I already F5. There's something down here. How are they not noticing? Wait, bro, what if we have to put the iron in here? <laughs> bro, bro. I just unlocked jump boost. Oh, I got speed. I got speed. I'll give you a clue. You all were uh very warm before. So it has to do with this. Someone stay outside. Yo, Izzy, you want to stay outside and then see if anything changes? Wow, I did not think that this would be the one that they get stumped on. Yo, 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 yo. Oh my God, we're going up. Oh my gosh, they finally found it. We're going to the Skylands. Wait, are those clouds? That's a budget cloud. Yo, yeah, what type of cloud is this? <laughs> yo, chill. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. See you, nerds. Come back here, you idiot. Gentlemen, welcome to level five. I'm running. Okay. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Oh, Quiff already tamed this one right here. Oh, easy found the levers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's running right towards it. I'm going to right click him and give him my lever. Okay. Oh my. Did he get it? He got it. Oh my gosh. 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 I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh. I'm a genius. Wow. Very clever, Mr. Bionic. That was good. Good. Yeah, what can I say? I'm smarter than I look. Uh, that's that's true. All right, so anyways, welcome to level six. I mean, logically, everyone goes inside the blacksmith. <gasps> oh, where did he just go? Where is he just said, oh my, and then... Yeah, I think Izzy actually just found it. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. Okay, wait. Oh my God. Izzy, welcome to level seven. Hurry up, Izzy, hurry up. Use your brain, Izzy. I have a potion for you. Wait, what? A potion? Come here, come here. No, no, right here. Hey, wait, take that. Oh my gosh, tiny potion? Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. Okay, so they discovered the potions. Oh my god, 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 I can't reach it. I'm in! Oh my god, you made it! Go, little Quiff, go! Go, Quiff! <laughs> dude, okay, dude, that was so close. Izzy almost got ahead. Took you guys long enough to get here, by the way. Okay, I feel- Oh! Oh, that was very simple. Oh my gosh. Wait, what just happened? He went down somewhere here. Mr. Quiff, welcome to level eight. Oh my gosh. What is going on, dude? Yeah, it's a little bit of a bug. I'm sorry. Okay, so level eight is pretty hard. As you guys know, they need to find the lectern, which is right there. And they need to figure out that they have to put the word open into the book. What's inside of here? What's in a lectern? Bionic just found it. Okay, okay, okay. This is getting juicy. A book, a book, a book, a book. I got a book. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He knows. I got to sign it. Okay, I just gave him a little bit of a clue. Okay, it looks like Quiff just abandoned the lectern, but Bionic's still trying it. Use that brain, bunk. Kids, yeah, hey, you shut up man okay there we go i just put a sign saying keyword open gentlemen listen up i have added a clue somewhere in the map good luck finding it do you see anything anything that could give a clue no but he was over in this direction was he i'm pretty sure you're pretty sure boy <laughs> yeah I'm pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure oh my gosh it's literally right there is he oh my gosh wait does he see it yo why are you guys talking about me man he walks right past it so we know it's supposed to be a word and i guess it's not any of these maybe it's just open yo what if it's just open <laughs> yeah, he's literally typing it in right now. Yo, see ya. Oh my gosh, Bionic got it. Yo, level nine. You guys are smarter than I thought. Welcome to level nine. Okay, hold on. We all know there's a secret room. Okay, they literally all just went for the pyramid. Exactly like I thought. But if you guys remember on this map, you have to go into the water butt crack and then you have to walk through right here. Yo, it probably has to do with the cactus. It probably has to do with the cactus. Come on, come on, come on. No, nothing about that one is weird. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Gosh, yo, Bionic actually might find it. Oh my god, Quiff is following me, bro. That little rat. This is a bait. This is 100% a bait. No, don't turn around, Bionic. There's nothing. There's nothing over here, man. Oh my. Yo, Quiff actually found it. Please, bro. You're so close. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Welcome to level 10. Okay, you have a head start. You need to make it worth it, okay? Welcome to level 10, the last level. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm super smart at this. I can't believe Quiff made it before everyone else. I've still got a bit of a head start. I think it might be that over there. See ya. Woohoo! Oh my. They, they actually made it. They actually showed up. This just got juicy. There's nothing so far. Was this a dead end? Really? Bro, I, I can't... I can't find anything. He just said that out loud. Why would he say that out loud? Why why, why why, would you say that out loud? That's such a sus thing to say out loud. Okay, uh, it falls muted, but okay. GG, boys. GG. No! Did he win? What is happening? I'm just too small. I knew it was so sus. Oh, my God. Let's go. Congratulations, Quiff. You win a thousand pennies. Hey, yo, pennies? Uh, yeah, that's what it said in the fine print. You scammer. Thanks for playing. Woo!